Oh, hi, honey. I didn't hear you come in. Wow. Have you done something to your hair? Or have you lost weight? No, don't tell me. Is that a new dress? New shoes? Well, whatever it is, you look amazing. I guess it always takes my breath away when I see you. Give me two secs. How are you anyway? How was your day? I've had a great day. I've just finished cleaning behind the fridge. Oh, and I hope you don't mind, but I did your hand washing for you. I know how much you hate to do it, so uh, I had a bit of spare time on my hands while I was waiting for dinner to cook. Why don't you sit down and put your feet up and I'll come and rub them in a minute. Oh, hang on. I've just got to get something. I got these for you today. For no particular reason other than to tell you that I adore you. I'll go and put them in some water. Oh, do you want me to get anything for you while I'm up? How about a nice big slice of that chocolate cake in the fridge? You're looking so slim at the moment. I think you need to treat yourself. Otherwise, your clothes are going to be hanging off you soon. Then it won't be a case of, does my bum look big in this? Not that it ever does, of course, but rather, can you even see my bum in this? And we can't have that. Here you go. I'll put it down here. Enjoy. You know, I can't bear skinny women. I just don't understand all the fuss that's made about these supermodels. They just look like broom handles to me. They should take a leaf out of your book and realize that beauty comes naturally to certain people and that no amount of dieting is going to put them in the same league as you. I hope you don't mind, I'm, I'm gonna carry on with my workout. I have to keep myself beautiful if I'm gonna keep you. Oh, don't worry, I'll get that. You stay right where you are. Hello? Oh, hi, John. Yeah, I'm fine, how are you? Why, what's happening tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, I completely forgot I agreed to meet you and the guys at the pub tonight. I, I promised to spend some quality time with my beloved this evening. I haven't seen her all day and I just love spending time with her. <laughs> I know you don't mean that. You're just jealous. <laughs> uh, there's someone out there for you too, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, have a good night and um, we'll, we'll catch up soon. Okay? All right, bye-bye. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It looks like you're stuck with me for the evening.
poor John told me last week that he'd bumped into his ex-girlfriend and it stirred up some old feelings. What a nightmare. I'm pretty lucky in that respect. All my previous relationships were totally meaningless compared to what we have. I never dreamed I'd end up with someone as good-looking as you. Let's just say that the, the few ex-girlfriends I have fall way short of you in the beauty stakes. In fact, they weren't even particularly nice people. So I can fully understand you wanting to say bad things about them. They totally deserve it. Whew. The workout, uh, it's made me all hot and sweaty. Listen, do you mind if I go and take a shower? Uh, you're welcome to come and join me. I'll scrub your back. Oh, hang on, I forgot. Friends is on. You just stay where you are. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Love is in the air. Every sight and every sound. And I don't know if I'm being foolish. Don't know if I'm being wise. <sighs> ah, that's better. So what do you feel like doing this week? I've got no plans for the next few evenings, apart from spending as much time as possible with you, of course. Oh, but guess what? They're doing a special deal at the video store on romantic comedy movies. Let's watch a load of them back to back with a few tubs of chocolate chip cookie ice cream. And no, I don't mind you drooling over the male stars. I'm happy that you can appreciate a good looking guy. I'm just spoilt, I guess. You're so much better than any of the female stars that I'm not interested in any of them. And I just don't understand why women feel the need to keep taking off their clothes in movies. I mean, not only is it utterly degrading to women, I think it's completely unnecessary and certainly doesn't make the film the slightest bit more interesting. It's like women who walk around in really tight tops and who, who bend over in public wearing tiny short skirts. I mean, don't they have any self-respect? I mean, naturally, I'm all for women making the most of the assets they have, but I think some of them need to think about the messages they're sending out. Don't you agree? Let me get you some more cake. Here you go. Oh, I put my gym stuff in the washing machine and set it going. And I left your shirt out of the machine because I checked the label and it said it was dry clean only. Oh, I've got a load of whites that can go in afterwards. And I made sure no stray red socks in there. I don't think I'd be very popular if I dyed all your underwear pink. Although I could always buy some more. Oh, I missed your skirt when I did the ironing last night. I'll do it now.
I've been thinking. How about we go away for a romantic weekend? I'd love to spend some time with you to really talk about our relationship. Oh, and by the way, no arguments. You'd better make sure you pack enough clothes. Which reminds me. Surprise! I bought you this extra bag to be on the safe side. And don't worry if you can't carry all your stuff. That's what I'm here for. We could take the train, but I guess we'll need to take the car if we're going to be transporting all your bags. Would you like to do the driving? I feel so safe when you're driving. And I'll only go and get us lost or try and race the guys with better cars than me. You're so focused and calm. It'll be so much more relaxing with you behind the wheel. Why don't you pick a place for us to go? And don't worry about the cost. You're worth it. thing needs watering. I'm usually so good at remembering. time I got round to redecorating the living room. I was meant to be going out with the guys this evening. They're desperate to drag me along to that new strip club in town. I have no idea what all the fuss is about, but now I've got the perfect excuse. I need to get the living room painted tonight. Excellent. I'll give them a call right away and let them know I won't be joining them. Hi, Dave. It's me. Look, it, it's about tonight. Um, I've taken a look around this apartment and it's in dire need of a bit of TLC. So, I'm not going to be able to make tonight's night out. I hope you don't mind. Um, but I'd really like to get started on painting the living room as soon as possible. Oh, no, no, no. It was all my idea. No, no, it was. And besides, to be honest, um, strip clubs aren't really my thing. Never really understood the point of them. <laughs> ah, you old joker. I know you don't mean that. I'll send her your love. <laughs> You're so funny. All right, well, I'll see you soon. Have fun tonight. Okay, bye. Have you seen that copy of Investors Weekly? I just want to see how my multi-million dollar investment portfolio is coming along. Oh, and that reminds me. I've ordered a platinum credit card in your name on my account so that you can now shop as much as you want. In fact, how about a shopping weekend next weekend? I just love to watch you try on hundreds of different outfits. I just can't believe someone can look so amazing in everything they put on. I have no idea how you can ever decide what to buy. I mean, I can certainly understand why you have to try on at least 25 little black dresses before you can decide which to buy. After all, the perfect body needs the perfect dress to show it off. And if you've still got the energy after all that clothes shopping, how about a trip to Ikea? <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh to watch you spend an entire day in a homeware store and leave with just a chopping board and a bag of candles. <laughs> You're so sweet. Say, why don't you look through their brochure now to get yourself in the mood? I found it under your pillow while I was changing the sheets today.
While we're out shopping next weekend, if there's time, maybe we could get a gift for your parents. I think it's their anniversary Tuesday, isn't it? You know, we really don't see enough of your parents. I'll say, why don't we take some time off work and spend some quality time with them? We could maybe all stay in one of my other properties. How about the penthouse in Barcelona? In fact, why not invite your whole family? After all, what are holidays for if not to spend time with the people you love? Which reminds me. Speaking of holidays, I was going to surprise you, but I was worried that you might want to do something different. So don't be cross, but I've booked us a three week holiday. Well, don't worry, I've cleared it with your boss. You work far too hard anyway. I don't know why you don't give it up and spend your time enjoying yourself a bit more. After all, it's not as if I can't afford it. But of course, I understand if you wanted to keep your independence. It's so important that you feel good about yourself. Anyway, this holiday, the first week we'll spend shopping in Paris. We could stay in my apartment near the Sacré-Cœur. Just think, a week of boutiques, chocolate croissants, Sauvignon Blanc, and walking hand in hand in the most romantic city in the world. For the second week, I've organized to fly all your girlfriends over to meet us there. After all, there's plenty of room at my place. So you can do more partying and lots of shopping. I figured that you'd probably need a rest after all that, so we'd spend the final week by the beach in Nice, where you can show all those full of themselves French women what a real woman should look like. What do you reckon? No need to let me know straight away. I'm sure you need time to think about it. When I told them about the holiday, all your girlfriends seemed really keen on the idea. <laughs> They're such a crazy bunch. It's amazing that a person could have so many excellent friends. I can see why you want to spend so much time with them. I bet they all wish they were as pretty as you, though. I just love it when you've all had a few glasses of wine. It's adorable how the volume of your conversation increases and that you all speak at the same time and don't listen to a word each other is saying. <laughs> Sometimes I hear you from the garden shed. <laughs> it's so sweet. Ooh, hang on, I'll get that. It's a gift I ordered for you from Harrods. You can open it later. I'll put it here for you. Seeing this photo of Jennifer Lopez just reminded me. I was watching you while you were asleep this morning. <laughs> Even when you drool, you're gorgeous. You know, sometimes I think I find you most sexy first thing in the morning. I had to have a cold shower before making your breakfast. <laughs> I didn't think you'd want me slobbering all over you as soon as you woke up. In fact, I can fully understand that I can be a bit too demanding in that area at times. I just can't help it. You're far too sexy. So guess what? I've just started attending these amazing mind reading classes. That way, hopefully, I'll be able to work out for myself when's a good time for you and when's not. That way you won't have to feel bad about saying no when it's not a good time. I hate making you feel bad. While we're on the subject of sex, I was out with some friends the other night and one of the guys started complaining about his sex life with his girlfriend. Then all the others joined in, 
telling everyone what they all got up to in bed. <laughs> I was pretty shocked that they'd be so callous as to rank their girlfriends according to what they do in bed. I mean, of course I'd never discuss anything like that with my friends. It's a private thing. But naturally, you'd get 11 out of 10. Do you mind if I switch on the TV? Is there anything you'd like to watch? Well, here, you have the remote control. I hate being responsible for choosing what we get to watch. And you've got such great taste in programs. I'll see what's on telly tonight. There's a great documentary about feminism in the 20th century tomorrow night. It just sounds fascinating. <laughs> it's amazing when you think about it. Women have it so hard, and yet manage not to be all bitter and twisted. <laughs> Thank goodness things are changing for the better for women. You all deserve it for putting up with men for so long. Let's make sure we don't forget to watch the program. Oh, hang on. I've just remembered, haven't, haven't you arranged to meet your girlfriends tomorrow evening? Still, I can record the documentary for you. Ah, you're going to that new club that's opened on the other side of town, aren't you? I think you're going to have a great night. And you'll be in such excellent company. Oh, I'm supposed to be meeting the guys tomorrow night, but I'll tell you what. I won't drink any alcohol so that I can drive and collect you at 3 a.m. when the club closes. How does that sound? Or is that too early? If it is, I'll wait outside until you're ready to leave. I just want to make sure you get home safely. I'll bring you a bucket of KFC to eat in the car on the way home. I know how hungry these nights out make you. Oh, speaking of food, I'd better go and toss a salad. I bought some wonderful low-fat dressing today. Ah, here you go. It's straight from the fridge, so it should be cold. I'll uh, just take the garbage out. The garbage collectors come tomorrow. Oh dear, not another football match. Go ahead and switch channels. I don't really understand how some guys can let their lives revolve around a stupid ball game. I mean, there are so many more important things to be obsessed with. Like you, for example. No, really, I mean it. You've got everything going for you. You're gorgeous, kind, funny, sexy as hell, great to spend time with, generous and sensitive, and you're prepared to put up with me, which is just incredible. I, mean, I just can't believe my luck. Even when you criticize me, I understand it's for my own good and that you've got my best interests at heart. I used to be such a terrible person before you came along and made me change my ways. I couldn't live without you. So I was wondering. Will you marry me? Thank you.